Okay, <clears throat> so let's go back. There are three reasons why we don't pay attention to all the good that Hashem does with us. Three reasons. One of them, again, okay, we're chasing too much after Olam Hazeh. And we don't have the the time or the depth to look at what Hashem does. Number two, we got used to it. From day one that we are born, we got used to it. And we think everything owed to us. Everything coming automatically. <laughs> and if something is not going according to what we want, so right away we started to complain. <clears throat> so that's what we dealt in the last two days. <clears throat> Tonight, we're going to go to the third reason. <clears throat> ah. so <clears throat> I'm not right. It's all the time. Make sure not, make sure not to touch it. Yeah, I tell them to be quiet. We can't hear. You cannot hear me? We hear you, but the background is very noisy. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Welcome to Yeshiva. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the third reason is the third reason. Many times in life, things are not going well. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Sometimes we have bad things that happening to us. Oh, we're losing either money or health. We're losing it. And we don't understand that Hashem is doing it to us for a purpose. And what's the purpose? Is that this will lead you to good things. Because we're saying, Hashem don't send something bad to you. Right? Like when a surgeon, when you come in with a knife and he wants to cut you up, right? Is he bad or he, he, he good? <laughs> if a person <laughs> don't know what's flying over here, he say, who is this person? What is he know? Why is he cutting a person? Right? You don't understand. Huh? <laughs> but, but if you know what's going on, right? So, 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 he cuts, the cutting and the opening up and, and, the, and the stitching is only for the good to come up. So every time something coming upon us, we have to understand it's operation time and we should not jump and say, why is it happening to us? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's one. Another way is <laughs> to test you in this world. <laughs> no, as we see. <laughs> Meaning, it's coming to test you. And if you're going to stand by the test, you reward in Olama Bajan wants to, to multiply it. So he said, okay, you know what? Let's give him a test, right? So he will earn Olam Abba, he will deserve it. Not so I have to give it to him as a as a extraka behesed. Let them earn it. So when you're going to the army, right? Uh, they're going to give you this for, 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 for free. 
Huh? You turn it. Then, if you pass all the obstacles, then you make you a captain. But uh, just like this, you know, you're a nice guy. Come on, we're gonna. No, that's that's not very good. What, what, what is it not passing this thing? Oh. What kind of act? Like I, I went to all the Kabbalistic, so it's not good. Huh? When I had the issue with money, I went to all the Kabbalistic. That's not good. I should ask you that. <laughs> oh. I think the Kabbalistic, that if you think it's not Kabbalistic, it's not Kabbalistic. Kabbalists don't say I'm Kabbalistic. Never. To say whoever says I'm Kabbalist, run away from it. Exactly. What? So what is the because the real one you don't know them. You don't know them. <coughs> so not passing the test. We're not giving up like a bad is that what is the not passing, passing the test meaning complain. you complain and say why Hashem does this to me? What did I do wrong? Uh, and you get upset and sometimes even you becoming weak. Meaning, I don't want to play. I don't want to learn. Anyway, I did it. It didn't help me. Right? With Hashem, you don't do this business. Be a soul. No, because we have responsibility. <laughs> Worry, worry. Yeah, no, that's yeah, you know, it's, but <laughs> it's it's it's, it's not start on second day, but it's six months, eight months. Work, work, work. The best thing, the best thing was the time of the pandemic. Oh yeah, <coughs> many people, you know, Hashem made such in the same sense. You know what? I'm shut off everything. And many people <laughs> became rich. <laughs> but at the time, that there's no. Business, no, like down, like down, huh? like down. Yes, yes. No now, excuse. now again, it's uh, again opening the office of that. You don't see everybody is out of there, and they don't make it. Complain. This is what a, a live show. Hashem, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> this is the number? Yes. Used to be 43, so it's 300. Used to be. That's it. The pandemic is over. Oh, when you start that topic, why has been this that secret? Again, people get high level. How do you know that? How many people do also, see, it's a really cute Yeah. <laughs> you got a camera, that's all. Oh, Hashem does it right. The goal is, 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 the there, it's only Olam and judgment. There is no Midat Arachamim. Up there, when you come in to bed, then Zeu. They're not doing this in any excuses. Man, no. Why the question? You're not doing this in any excuses. They want to see what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah, well, well, this is if you're going to be able to say. When you go to the world, you can see it. 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 You can see and listen to what David Amelis is saying with the Elif. Asher Gever Asher Tiasirenu Yah. 
the privilege is the person that you're sending him suffering in this world. It's privilege. Because the not one, the not privilege, I send give him nice cars, nice homes, money, everything they take. Now, then, oh, oh. I paid you off. I, I, I paid you off. Come on. Now you have only to pay. That's all. So if you see people that everything is going very well, don't, don't get excited. Don't get excited. There is a Gemara that talks about when Rabbi Eliezer was sick and just about to die, the Talmudim came to visit him. And Rabbi Akiva was a, a man. It's the same group all the time. Everybody they saw, the Rav, you know, how much he suffers. They started to cry. And Rabbi Akiva was laughing. Was that Akiva? He was always laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so they told him, Akiva, why are you laughing? He said, why are you crying? He said, what do you mean, why? Don't you see a Sefer Torah in pain? And we will not cry. He said, Dafka, because of this, I'm laughing. Amen. Okay? Explain yourself. He said, you know, all my life, I was afraid that Rebbe knew all the Torah. He was rich. Not sick. Popular. And this, I, said, I was afraid maybe I should bring him in this world. I, I, I was afraid. Maybe Hashem give my Rebbe all the time. Just take, 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 take. <laughs> so now, Rabbi Akiva says, now when I see my Rebbe in pain, now I know he's going straight to Gan Eden. That's why I'm laughing. I'm fine, I'm okay with this. You see how the way, how to look at things? We will come say, you will come you will change. So this is the first time he, he has suffering? Yes. Yeah. Period. Period. When he came to learn also, he suffered a lot. His father was a rich man. A, a rich man. Olkenus. Rabbi Eliezer ben Olkenus. Olkenus was a very rich man. And he sent his son to, to the, the field, you know. Olkenus, yeah. Uncle, yeah. Olkenus. 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 is different. Olkenus is different. Olkenus was a very rich man. He told me, this son came and said, I want to learn Torah. His father said, Makara, who was crazy? We have uh, too much there. Somebody has to take care of it. No, he said, I'm going to learn. So his father told him, if you're going to learn, I'm getting you out of my will, everything out. I don't care. He packed his stuff and he went to Jerusalem. Uh, and he came to Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai was one. And he came, no food, no money, no clue. So now, when he don't eat, you know, you so smell. So, the Rabbi, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, so slowly, slowly his face, uh, becoming more pain and then uh, he said he sent two students to his dorm. He, he said, Go check if he has something to eat. This boy, 
And the Rav asking, do you have food? He said, oh, I brought with me kara. I'll beg. <laughs> no. So they came to the door and they see there is a big bag and it's full. But when they open it up, what did he do? He put inside sand. And this, so if somebody will come to check, look like food. Look like food. So they came and the Rebbe said, Rebbe, he, he, he doesn't eat. It. So he told them, if you learn in Torah with such a thing, this bad breath that you have will become like what they call on. Whatever you say, people will enjoy. enjoy. The wind up was he became a big time. One day, his father coming to Jerusalem. Okay. But he forgot that he has a son. Now he sees everybody is going to. Welcome. A show of Rabbi Yochanan Ben Zakai giving you today. Rabbi Yochanan giving you. Everybody is there, the whole town. And you see people going, going, like in the. Yes, when everybody's going, is there, there is a show now. Who is you? Rabbi Yochanan Ben Zakai. Okay, the Talmudim are there. Rabbi Leza also there. Piton, they see. The father of Okinus walks in, he doesn't recognize his son. His son probably changed. He, he doesn't recognize him. So Rabbi Yohanan told uh, Rabbi Yezer and Okinus, he told him, listen to me. You're going to give the show to me. He said, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I will. What am I going to say? I gave you a blessing that whatever will come out of your mouth. Bomba. Yeah. Yeah. He cannot say no to get up. He sat down and he talk and they call Okinus to sit on the podium. She called the man. And he sits there and says, He still doesn't know. He doesn't know. He still does. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every word got out. At the end, at the end, when it was over, he saw that Abeliezer came and he kissed his hand of his Abba. And he looks at him and said, Abeliezer? That's you? He said, yes, it's me. He says, That's what he told me. Really? Yeah. He told them, I'm getting all you brothers out. Everything is for you. He said, No. Don't do it. He says, Please, don't do it. Each one will get his share. It's fine. Because he learned with what? It suffered. Why, why, why has to be this is true, This is like even more suffering. Right? You tried not to eat for one week and tell me how it feels. No, no, I know. Okay, no, tell me. let's go back. No, let's go in. Okay, I'm saying that you're saying in the end, my time is very short. My time is short. Now, we forget everything that happened to us in life. Kids, wife, business, sick, lost, lost here. And this, everything has address. Everything Hashem has it in very good, he knows exactly what to do. And Kulam Tobot. Go tell a person when your wife screams at you and says, I don't want to listen to you and so on. Hashem said, that's good for you. It's very hard to accept it. It's very hard to accept it. We have to be truthful. We don't understand why Hashem doing it to us. What we do wrong that she has to open up her, her mouth now and to start to 
Timothy Hashem said, this is for your own good. Maybe Kaparat Abono. Yeah? Could very well be. Hashem says, if you keep quiet, the reward in Olam Abba is going to be multiplied. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's not her. She is only the microphone. So it's a, it's a very a meaning Hashem has some fresh bone with you. Maybe he wants to build you up. Maybe you have to get more patient. Maybe not to learn, not how to answer back. You know? It's only wife or children. Also. Children, for sure. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, I'm coming to you soon. So this is my book. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Parents. Parents. Yeah. There are many needs, you know, many tests we have. Many tests. Sometimes even kids, you know, talking in you guys know, there. Meaning Hashem wants to, do, to tell you your generation is over. Now you're dealing with a new one. You have to change the switch a little bit and to know how to deal with that. To scream and yell and bang on that is not going to help. Meaning Hashem forcing us to go acquire knowledge, learn, because the generation is changing. You have to change also accordingly. Even if generation changing for work, not for better. <clears throat> Only for, for it's not going to change for better, forget it. It's going down. The generation is going down and down and down. I said it once, I'll say it again. I'll say it again. So we, we will understand where we are. We are. There is an argument in the Gemara between two Amoraim. One says, let the Mashiach come. I don't want to be in it. So why are you praying all the time? We want to see in our eyes what Hashem coming back. I pray, but I don't want to be. The other one, the other one saying, no, I want to be there. If I don't have, I'm ready to be the waste of the Hamor. The Mashiach coming on Hamor. And the Hamor have to go to, you know, have to do. I'm ready to, to be underneath it and it will fall on me. But at least I want to see it. The Gemara Kashamot, very difficult to understand. Here comes the Maral Miprag. Listen to him. Listen to what he says. He says, this is not a shot. He said, the generation will be so bad that one Amora says, if I'll be there, I will not be who I am. So I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to take it. I'm not going to be able to take it. Maybe I'll go after them or from pain, I will die. So why do I need this for? I don't want to be there. The other one says, no. The Kunzi is to see all this. And let me tell you how the generation will look. Hamor is material. Yes? Hamor is material. The material has waste. Waste, right? Like you have a garbage can. Inside you have a garbage. And under the garbage there is juice, juice. He says, we're going to be under the juice already. Wow. Under the juice. Where did you see? Trans agenda, this agenda. They came out of the closet. Today, if you're not, yeah, you have to be ashamed of yourself. You do too much. Yeah, yeah. 
where your husband told you for the not going. Did you have the case they're fighting because of this and get divorced? No. No? No. There is no case that I dealt with my But it starts one of point the husband. You lose or this, that. Case. So if he's suffering for, because of the money, I can't want to say. But he has an actual mind problem because of it. How can I accept that? So if she thinks, if she's going to tell him. If you know, about her, Rabbi, uh, I'm about the guy right now. He's suffering. Now he has another problem. This is no mind. So now, that's why Hashem gave him a wife. To tell him, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. But that's too I, can eat, I can eat only a sandwich, it's okay, it's fine. I'll pray for you. Hashem should give you a not a, not a, That's a problem. That's a problem. So his question is, that's why he's Endure the suffering. Endure the suffering. Listen, either she's as a, either she is connected. There is no middle, the as you can see, right? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it there is no gray area of it. Either she is with you, that they get like she will be, or she's gonna work against you. She says you're not doing work. The panasize alapani is not going well. Mata. No shoot. She's a big call at her. Private Look at my brothers, <coughs> how they're doing business, you don't do it. <laughs> but this is what you chose. This is what you chose. Because you went after the hair, after the hair. <laughs> Okay, so now, who will say that? A wife that all her life is what? Material. We wouldn't be sitting here, Rabbi, if I was like this. We wouldn't be sitting here right now. Okay, no. I stand. Okay, so what do you want? No, no, I don't. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, I look. There's something to show him back. No, there's something to show him back. So now. So now. So now. Juice. And Hashem, you cannot say Hashem doing injustice. It feels like that. Ah, oh. so the problem is it's not there. The problem is here. We don't understand. The individual does everything. He tries, he learns, he gets up in the morning, he helps. And he still gets knocked on the head, so he's like, what do you want me to do? Okay. I said, what do you want me to do? You sound like a client that wrote Barbara Shabbat. No, okay. that's, no, no. That's that's Marvish. That's already going on. Because at the end of the day, Yaakov, Yaakov. That's, that's, that's not no, uh, no no good. Good. But you, you know, at the end of the year, you're going to get your whatever. That's not good. When, you, when you're in a situation like no, this. Show your eyes. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Many husbands I know, they help, they make the clean dishes, laundry they do, and the wife keep that, that. Sometimes I sit, I say, what's going on? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so, now, so now, usually I don't talk. No, usually I don't talk. Usually I like to listen, to hear. And I hear, and I hear, and I hear, and I hear the sounds. Something is wrong. This guy is doing more than he has to do. More than he has to do. But it doesn't click. Something. She is upset at him. It means, I'll tell you what it means. He knows how to cook. He knows how to clean. He doesn't know how to talk. He doesn't know, with two words, he will buy everything up. 
so it doesn't have to sit there with the uh, blue. Oh, she does I not So even when you're going to clean and do, she should have said, he even thinks that I'm not capable. He took my job. You, you think you help him, and she is saying he, he took over now. He took my stuff just to prove me that I am the bad one. Meaning, all you has said becomes zero. You're wasting your time. You're wasting energy. You system. Volunteer, like you say. Volunteer. You see, we're taking the words of Chachamim casual. Hey, Chachamim saying, Chachamim ve'am mavet, life and death be'yad al-ashon. Yashon is like yad. What is yad al-ashon? Yad is yad. Here is yad. So there is yad? There is. Hand on it? No. The hand, it can do all kacha. <laughs> okay. Depends. The tongue is the softest organ in the body. But it can break even bones. Lashon Raka soft words can break a bone. So now she don't feel good about herself. Probably she felt old already, she got gained and gained weight and this and that. There is a husband over there, say something. Say something, you know, that's what they need. You have to understand. Ladies needs all the time to understand that you're there for her. You, she's the most important thing, one for you. And you say compliment and compliment. Better than all you Laundry and oh, she's yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. She don't want it. Master Lil, some second video. Huh? No, I'm not saying it. It's a video. It's a video. It's a video. It's a Okay. Uh, Hashem says it must be like that. That this kind of episode will come on you. And we are denying to see the justice of Hashem. He says, Hashem is not fair with me. I'm doing everything. How can you say Hashem is not fair? So something is wrong. Hashem sending us emails and say, hey. I hate you. <laughs> <sighs> Hashem said, I'm doing you. I said, I'm doing to you. Let's say a person is not well. Okay, he grew up in, in a messed up house. So now he has a wife. So now Hashem says, hey, hello. In order to take care of this wife, you have to go go therapy, go, go something, because you're sick. You, it's not your fault. I put you there. And through this, through this, you're going to be able to help even your kids because you went to therapy. They showed you what to do, where is wrong, you're working. Now you're going to be able to understand more your kids, what to do with them. If you cannot deal with yourself, how can you deal with wife and kids? You will destroy them all. So Hashem says, I'm doing you a favor. Go take care of yourself. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, if I I take a bite, okay? I take a bite. Okay, okay. Okay. 
וסכלותם הוא מנגדי מין. The missing few זה over here, מביאה אותם לכפור בטובה. We deny all the good that Hashem says. The fact that you have a wife, that you have kids, you off the market already, and you, right? Somebody cooking for you, some of this. They're bechlal kvar. No, this is kvar po. What's next? This is not, this is oi vavoy. And Hashem don't like it. ולרבים גורמת סכלות זו לחשוב שהם יותר חכמים מהשם. We want to declare that we're much more smarter than השם. I'll do this, I'll throw her back to her אימא, and I'll fix the problem. עכשיו זה, היי, הלו, you the problem. ושאילו הייתה בריאה בהנהגת העולם מסורה לידם, אני אומר, if I was השם, I'll run the world in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we think. Yes, yes. As I am, the world be much better if I'll be the boss. I'm not going to do this. The other is more organized and then what is this now? Okay. They condemned Hashem. This is the This is the world. They are not going to know because they don't want to know. שהם עצמם גרמו להם. You, you, the fault is in you. But what is the easiest way? Your fault. Your fault. בסוף זה גאווה, רבי. Of course it's גאווה. When a person don't want... אם אני נשפט איתך, על עורך לא חטאת. השם says, I'm going to judge you, only because you say, I didn't see. השם says, I want you to admit. It's very difficult for us to admit. Publicly, yes. But for yourself, you admit. But, we admit. Yeah, but admit. it doesn't help us. Well, but we don't say, we don't speak out loud. Our, uh, that's why you do like this. Right? You see, admit. when you admit, you're going to take care of it. You say, you, you don't fix it. it. You just say. We you know the problem is that, hi, it's up. זהו גמרנו. זה נפלא מואי can believe this, that lady understand. But exactly. construction, they don't know, but they still stick in the nose. <laughs> and we have to keep what? The whole catch. Then problem, no, come on. Please, they, they please, not, please, 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 What did I tell him all the time? Don't talk to me up here. Don't ask me. Yeah, come on. That's the point. 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 You want to be right or happy? That's the key. The construction. Construction very easy to... Right or smart, no happy. My brother's wife is happy. Three house. I don't know. My mom's built three house. אוקיי, פיין. הוא? ביבי חולו מישי. I'll tell you one time, I tell you again. שבת, I said it over here. There is a gemara that say, כל השומע בעשת אשתו, סופו יורש גיהנם. If you're gonna listen to advices of your wife, you're gonna wind up in hell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Everybody, oh, here. So, so. I said, wait a second. The Gemara have a kushia on this one. He said, Hashem told Abraham, Avinu, Kol Hashem told Abraham, Avinu, Kol Hashem told Abraham, Avinu, Kol Hashem told Abraham, Whatever Sarah said, Kol, whatever she said, you have to listen. 
או שאני אטם, נכון? אין בגמר זה שאני אטם. אנא במילא דשמיא. בגמר זה, when it comes to Torah and the mitzvot, the husband is the rab of the house. When it comes to Olam Azeh, She is the rab of the house. Okay, so That's how Hashem divides it. I want to go vacation. She says, yeah. Olam Azeh, yeah. No, again. Olam Azeh. She wants to go out. She wants to do this. She if, wants, you can, she wants. if you can, if you can. Old palm, old palm. You take it water. out of context now. Well, listen to me. You have to be in the house, right? Water. Why you have to be mevatel Torah in order what tiles are put, what color. This is not your building. you sit and learn let her go with this maybe the man has a better idea of course chan is not this is in french she likes it look at it no prando to prando ladies go to the store one tile costs five dollars they give it to you for two dollars because you know how to talk they don't know but <laughs> let her choose it and you pay it you, you make the deal you make the deal let her choose she would, she would want you to make a deal why not no problem yeah that's your problem that's your problem yeah I can't say it Rabbi says everything lady 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 but there is a lot of things men understand lady they don't understand right now catch Okay, so what do you want this? I want this. Okay, I, I go to her and say, she wants that. Like this, she wants like that. What do you want? I don't want anything. Whatever she wants, fine with me. That's okay. Let comes, me go. It comes with the age, you, Nah, I don't like this. It comes with the age, Abba. You, because you, you nah, probably don't want to do it like this. That's all. I'm not arguing with you, know, the best. But, still, but life is not like that, Abba. That's my point. <laughs> Life is not like that, like you say, unfortunately. It should be like that. <laughs> Now, we're not doing what they're telling us to do. Yes. And then we get stuck. And then we say, why it doesn't go? If you follow the rules, everything we will go good. If the wife understands and she's, uh, she tries, she knows you don't have it, she's not going to go to $10. Okay, let's go now. Ilchot Kibbut Avayim. Okay? What to do when the mother, she is a Jew and the father is a girl? Oh! Are you serious? It's not a second one there? No. Or with mother girl? Chayav b'kvot imo, chayav l'chaber ta ima, he is obligated to respect his ima, his Abba is not obligated to respect. No. Clue. If his pops is going, he said. Goy, Papa yeah, is Goy. Father or the mother? Right? Father. Mother, mother is a Jew. Jew. Okay. Abba is a Goy. He's a Jew. The Goy, he doesn't know because we're going after Ima. Okay. Ima, he must respect. Can the father know? No. Why? Because no? He's Goy. So he's a human being. So, okay. okay. So you, you can be nice. And, but but you respect. You don't have to get up and get up and get up. Would, would you give him to be no, a sandax? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> When he walks in the house, do you get up or no? No. No, he said. Carmel pays the mortgage for its place for tuition and tuition. So would you. Slava Allah, my papa is Jewish. Oscar, you look like a Jew. You look like a Jew. No, okay. That's the sack. He doesn't have to. Now, how about a girl tzedek? Somebody converted. Now he has a parents which are still 
not going. going what shall you do now? According to the Allah, he's not his parents anymore. He's not a parent anymore. Yeah. Wait, but if it, but if he was goy, does he respect them or no? A goy <coughs> child has to respect his parents. But the goyim, they have their, their own ways how to respect. Okay? okay, but according to the Torah, no. Ger tzedek patu milchabet the Torah anochrin is patu, patu. There is a limit here also. Achazulo levazotam, don't belittle them. And say they still, still in jail. Don't do this. Kedesh shelo yomru now this going. They say when he was our child, he was he was, he was nice. He told me went and became a Jew. The the Torah say. So we so have to say, Hashem, huh? yes. <clears throat> be nice, okay? Not uh, to. Uh, 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 no, no. You say, Hi, how are you? Not to, to neglect them totally or to tell them, you know, we, 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 we're walking on a very thin line. Now, a Giorret, and this is a problem that we deal with at every day. A Giore, a convert, she wants to visit her parents and they still going. So we, we said, try to eliminate it as much as possible. The connection between her and her parents. Yeah. Because we afraid, you know, if, she, if she's not going to stay away from them, it might be going back. The and the children that she has now from the Jew, we have nothing to do with them. Don't take them there. The grandmother. Yeah. Grand Jew. Oh, not that's the a big worst. problem. That's the worst. I know what they're going to eat there. Oh, oh, they're going to eat there. Grandmother, Puerto Rican, still. Wow. Dios mio. This yeah. 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 No good. No, now, there is a girl that said that his name is Ruben. His father became sick and his father is still a goy. Allah Ruben Levakro, Ruben went and to visit his father and he prayed for him. He prayed for him that Hashem will heal him, yes. Ruben was according to the Allah. The we said it. Yeah? And this is Ramoshe Feinstein saying it. If you're allowed to visit, right? Let's say you have a boss or a friend, a neighbor that you're in a good day, and he's sick. And now you're going to visit him in the hospital. Are you allowed? So Ramoshu said, you have to go Mishum Darket Shalom. He's sick, go to visit him. Nothing is wrong with that, okay? But you were talking about that guy, no? And he, his father is sick. After all, he, he, he owes him because he brought him to the world. That's exactly mm -hmm. what Ramoshu is saying. And the Chacham Ovadia saying more than that. She Rashalit Palel Al Aviv. He should pray for his father. Okay. And he can say even a Kaddish if the father passed away. Ongoing. Yeah. Ongoing. Yeah. The Mekubalim did not like this Psak Bechlal. Why? They said. The goy that died have no neshama bechlam, so lo ye ilui the neshama will not, you know, elevate from the fact that you're saying a kaddish because there is no neshama for the goy. Okay, so they arguing they they. Okay. What do we follow? 
Let's say. Whoever goes according to Rahab of Adia should do what he said. What he said? He said, you can say Kaddish. He said, Moshe Feinstein said. No, no, no. Something else. The whole year, Rabbi? The whole year is going to say? The whole year? Because some people, they don't know already, they're Jewish. They think they go. Maybe he was Jewish. A lot, a lot, yeah. That's true. That's true. A lot of them Especially high. Ukraine, Ukraine. Ukraine. A lot of them high. No, right here. I have this lawyer, Spanish a ticket Spanish. lawyer. We're going to a court. He has a Jewish name. I'm like, you Jewish? He says, I think I'm Jewish. Uh, he thinks. I'm like, really? <laughs> I think it's a fourth generation coming from Russia, Ukraine. Coming from somewhere. He lost it. Totally lost it. Now, there is a mitzvah that you hayav, you obligated, and there is a thing that you're not obligated, you're doing it as a, not as a, they call mitzvah kiyumit, mitzvah kiyumit, I'm the kayem, the mitzvah, I'm fulfilling the mitzvah, only to get reward. If I were not gonna do it, I'm not gonna be punished. Extra credit. Extra credit. Okay, good. <laughs> if you promise your parents, I'm going to respect you. Something that I'm not obligated. Now you have to fulfill your promise. Not mitzvah kibud avayim. Avayim. Good. Well, what is a neder? Already. That's why I also if I say the neder, you don't have to. Yeah. Nachon. So now, if he didn't say the neder, so what we're doing? The evening on kibud, we're doing atarat nederim, and we're saying in the yiratzon. That's what everything that we're going to do is going to be Berlin. Yeah, yeah. That we are declaring in advance. So he says, but the Avad, you can rely on this. And you don't, if you don't have a chance to, to fulfill the, the promise to you, your parents. So you, so you have the hope. And end of Yom Kippur, it's power everything? Yeah. Except, oh, yeah. except buying Aliyot, drama. People buying, they don't buy <laughs> 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 you have to because, because you took it from somebody else. Yes, yeah. it. Somebody else. Of course. You stole it. That's still. Ruben <laughs> you know, promised his parents, I'm going to take you sighting the Sukkot. Okay. Now, Things changed, changed, and he didn't have space for his parents in the car. Maybe he had no time, but no space in his car. It's not nice, somebody. It's his parents. Okay, I, I agree. So outside and his car went to uh, fixing, oh, and he yeah. took somebody's small car, car. Small, uh, small. smaller car. And he has five kids here. Okay, uh, where are you gonna put them? But you still have to go rent another car, a bigger one in order because you promise you have to fulfill the nether. Unless the parents will tell you, you you you, you don't have to. We okay. okay. Now, there is a chiyuf on every person to ask Mechila from his parents for the whole year. On everything, on during the year, you have to ask the parents for the year. Didn't respect them enough, didn't feel from them enough, didn't listen to what they 
told him. Now, how about a small child? Underage, you know, sometimes kids, when they're upset, they come, I hate you, and they give you a smack. Okay. Even though he doesn't have to do tshuva when he will go up, it's very good to accept upon yourself as a davar le tshuva or le kapara. You know? Sam didn't come to me, didn't ask me, but every parent said, hello, Dr. Mohammed, it's enough. Yeah. Only must approach. Yeah. Kids don't approach sometimes. Yeah. You know, but yeah. we say, no, but that's enough. That's well, on, on we, the sun. We have to get used to it. It's a personal It's a personal mitzvah. Oh, <laughs> that he told Rab Chaim Vital. He is a student. He gave him a tikkun, three days and three nights not to eat. Whoa. On all the times that he <laughs> used to eat, he is parents when he was a child. Yeah. A child. A child. Said, even though you, you were a child, but if you want the record to be clean, 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 that's what you have to do. In the stomach kicking with all. Oh, there are child. Yeah, stomach and then when he's in the child. What's the child? What is the child? Because sometimes even a stand of oxygen that he kicked. No. Also. That was it. Yeah. You don't know what that is. That was it. That's good. What are you going to do? You do things unintentionally. You don't know, you don't remember. Okay, so now, Ruben Lobiker, he didn't go to visit his parents and didn't call them more than two weeks. <laughs> the parents very much upset. upset. And their kavod got hurt. <laughs> After what we did, you know, at least, at least, you know. Choval woman, you now you obligated from the din now, Ooh. the law. Lead kasher or levaker Torah be matzav zeh. Meaning you have to leave everything and you have to go because you're a sinner. You're a sinner. Yeah. Visit call is not count. Call today when we calling and we have a FaceTime is. <laughs> it's easing up a lot. Yeah. 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 See, they, if they're still upset, okay. that's right. not your problem anymore. Let's say old lady, right? No. Ken is no good. Yeah. Ken is down. Hundred times if I say, don't walk with, the, with, with this, don't listen, raise voice automatically because you were good for her, but she's not listening. Raise your voice is problem. Here we go. That's the next alaha. Good question. Zola. You, you can say, hey, pap. Hey, Pab. He meant a little bit differently. He said, you're raising great benefits. I'm losing temper. There is a way to talk. Even though, what did you say? I said, Pab. What did they say? Something wrong? Oh, he said, Hey, Pab. Yo. Okay. It didn't say anything bad, but it's very... The parents feel, why are you talking to us like we came from the street? Talk like a person. So that's why I said, like, you're obligated to talk in a show. With respect. 
לא למה לדבר אבא talking to his son, he told his son, אבא, I have to go, bye, to be continued. הופ, הופ, הופ. הופ, הופ, הופ. This is not מכובד. This is not respect. When they call us old, it's disrespect, or not? Huh? They are already old when they say it. Of course. This is old. In their eyes, we're old. So what? What the bad word? It's not that bad word. It's... I don't consider myself as old, maybe. But when they say old, it's like... They say you're old. It's old in you. Old school. Okay. Sorry. Can the mother herself tell the kid This is not respectful to me or someone else should. Yeah. Is it okay for the mother to say it? We have to put them right away. We have to tell them this is not the right way to speak to us. Uh-huh. Of course. But again, it says asur. It says asur. It's asur. It's not asur. But to the right side of the father, in the name of the father, in the name of the father. May I go? Can I go? I, 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 I have a point. I have to take a shoot from the Abba to leave. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Abba from him? Okay. Same thing. Yeah. Abba and Ima is the oh, same yeah. thing. There's yeah. no difference. Yeah. 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 What was? Yeah. 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 Ye